If you've got two different MIDI controllers that can send the same MIDI message, and you map that message to something, Bitwig Studio is going to keep that separate. It's not going to combine the two of them together like Live does. Live just maps the messages themselves, whereas Bitwig also keeps track of where it came from. And I'll show you kind of how this works. Here's a little MIDI monitor application, and I've got two controllers in front of me. I have uh, an Akai APC40, which you can see show up when I move a fader. And I've got this Behringer BCR2000, which is going to show up as from port one. So the point is they're two separate controllers, but they're both sending control changes. So I've got this mapping in Bitwig where if I send control change number seven on channel one from the APC40, it moves this track fader around. And if I go and I map that to something else, like let's say the pan knob, Let's go back to the monitor. You can see that control change 7 on channel 1 now moves the pan knob around. No surprise, that's how quick mapping works in tools like this. But if I send the same message now from the BCR, control change 7 on channel 1, nothing happens. It's not mapped to anything. If I go in and I map that to something else, I'll move the BCR knob now, you can see that the BCR number 7 is controlling that knob. If I send a different control change from the BCR, nothing happens because that's not mapped. Only number seven on channel one is. It moves that pan knob. But if I move it on the APC, it moves a different pan knob. They're kept separated, which is actually pretty cool. Now over in live, I'll show you how the behavior is different. We have the same idea. The Let me bring that monitor back up. The APC 40, control change number seven on channel one, moves the track fader by default. And if you assign that to something like the pan knob, you can see that it's number seven, channel one. That that message now moves the pan knob around. So number seven, channel one from the APC 40 moves the knob. But now I can also move the knob from the BCR without any mapping at all. Channel 7, I'm sorry, control change 7 on channel 1 is moving the same parameter, and that's because Live has combined them. So I actually really like how Bitwig does this, and the reason why is because when you map something to a parameter, you don't have to think about it. You can just do it fearlessly. You can go, okay, I want this mapped, go. You don't have to worry about what your other controllers are doing. I think the reason Ableton did it the way they did is so you can set yourself up a scenario where two controllers cover each other's functions a little bit, like say you're at different points of a table. But I find it more confusing than not, and I've seen it come up a lot online. So that's how it works here. Thanks for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you.